Welcome back to another video of World of Warcraft Classic Hardcore. I'm gonna continue on with the Rogue. Anyway, let's play. Alright then. Let us continue on. I think at this very moment we might uh, have too many add-ons. But we'll see how it goes. We shall see. Uh, also, I, I installed a uh, guideline. But... I think it doesn't track it efficiently, but we'll see. You have served the good people of Dolinar and Darnassus well, brave adventurer. As a member of the Sentinel Force of Teldrassil, I salute your efforts. We should run to the left side of this mountain. So we have a quest there. Shaman Voodoo Charm. At the end of the previous episode, we did buy some gear. So we should be quite stronger now. We're only level 6 though. Not ready yet. Okay, we're running, gonna run through here. But yeah, I think this uh, this UI lo just looks a lot cleaner. We can track so many stats as well. Like our durability for one. And we're currently level 9, halfway to level 10. That means we're almost there. Because deal building is definitely at least 20%, 30%, maybe even more. Let's say 40% stronger. And then we also get a talent. I don't know what talent we're going to take. And then also at level 10 we get Sprint, which is uh, it's gonna help us. Not necessarily to get away from stuff, but to get to stuff, you know. Spam that pr uh, Sprint button. We're so much stronger now. But these enemies is level 7, so... I also forgot to buy potions. We have zero potions on us. Work complete. Lower tunnel below bridge, earth shocker. Wandering relics. Do you really... Bro. They're really gonna send me back there. I honestly don't want to do that. I honestly don't want to do it right now. We're we're too weak for it. Uh, at level ten, we also get sap, so we don't have to fight two at the same time. I think you can only sap humanoids, and they are humanoids, since they drop cloth. Speaking of cloth, we have 51. That's like three stacks. I don't know, a quest that I'm running to right now might be too hard. 
It says requires level 10. Oh, bro, I am nine and a half. And uh, we're full strength like white gear. Because we pur uh, purchased everything. So the Voodoo Charm is on these guys, I think. There's no Voodoo Charm here. Not enough energy. So this enemies is still level 8 though, so we should be okay in this zone. idea what quest we just got. Oh. We have a hand in quest now. No, that that's the other thing. Dude, how am I gonna get that sapphire sky? Without sap. There's a level 10 and a level 9. And the level 9 is a healer. At least that's that's what it was yesterday on the previous video. So I'm going to fight all my way in there again, just to see that I still can't do it. Because I uh, that's that's most probably what's going to happen. The thing is, though, if we can do it, we are level 10. So we should be getting quite a bit of cloth here. The problem is we have no potions, nothing. But the downfall is like if we do die, then we know at least guideline will be up to date. And we use it from the start. The problem with this guy, though, is there's a lot of death skips. I'm just trying to get there, man. There's only one entrance to this cave that I can see. And we were in this cave yesterday. But... I, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm pretty sure I couldn't go there at that time. A level, level 9 enemy... A level 9 healer. With a level 10 damage healer. Like, it's gonna be ridiculous. Right? 
So I kind of had to flee there. We have two slots available in our bag. I think we just have to kill enough shamans because it shows the loot icon on them. I don't have enough energy. We are much stronger now because we, we spent about 10 silver buying better items. Uh, we should get a food buff. Lock kick. Like our actual interrupt. At level 12. Wait, I think someone might be in here. There's no enemies. Yeah, someone's definitely in here. Well, this will make things a lot easier. Want to do it together? Is the one? I can't do that yet. Isn't ready yet. Not enough energy. I don't have enough energy. I don't know. Uh, couldn't interrupt. It was a crit kill. got this quest.
Goodness, my brave. So now I'm cursed a bit. I can't carry any more. So this is how far we got before with these two enemies. Inventory is full. Okay, ready? It's too far away. Not enough energy. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. I don't have enough energy. I can't do that. Okay, we need to make uh, inventory space now. Sure. Roll. I can't carry any more. Work complete. Inventory is full. Uh. I just want this. This also. Quest item six copper. Work complete. I don't have enough energy. Uh ending in quest quick. Thank you, adventurer. What an odd trinket this is. I can sense the vile aura emanating from it. This is a very powerful enchantment. After examining this charm, adventurer, I see now what must be done. Please take it and do as I ask. You are to explore the deepest areas of the Banathil Barrow Den. There you will find my soulless body. Although I regret what I'm about to tell you, I see no other way to free myself from the control of the Gnarl Pine. In order for me to escape them, you must kill my physical form. Once that is done, use the voodoo charm on my fallen body. After you have completed this task, please return to me. Don't tell me what to do. Spurt. What the? Okay, that took a little bit out of us <laughs> to actually click that button. 
But it's okay. <clears throat> We're doing fine. So now we're getting respawned on. I don't have enough energy. I can't do that. Not enough energy. I am finally free of the control of the gnarl pine. Thank you, adventurer. My spirit may now rest peacefully forever in the Emerald Dream. Perhaps one day we may meet again, young adventurer. But for now, please accept this reward as a symbol of my gratitude. Level 10, dude. Uh, you done here? Fight both. I don't have enough energy. Not ready. Inventory is full. Yeah, we don't need water anyway. That sword we just got there, we need to go train swords. And I think it will be in the human area. That's a really big upgrade. Thank you for the help. You done? Okay, it says... I think he's done, dude. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Shondo Stormrage never returned, and the druids were in disarray, and to this day we still do not know what became of him. With Malfurion missing, Archdruid Fandral Staghelm took over the leadership of the druids, convincing the Circle of Ancients in Darkshore that it was time for our people to rebuild, and that it was time for our people to regain their immortality. With the approval of the Circle, Staghelm and the most powerful druids grew Teldrassil. The New World Tree. All was not well with Teldrassil, however. Staghelm's carefully made plans for the New World Tree had borne out as he had hoped, but there was one small problem. A problem to which many of the troubles on Teldrassil may be attributed. However, I will not get into that yet. You must visit the last Moonwell to the northwest in the Oracle Glade. Under the boughs of the Oracle Tree lies the first and most powerful of our wells. Retrieve a file of its water and return to me. They say I'm lovestruck, 
Whatever that means. Sure, I spend my every waking moment thinking about Cyrna. Sure, my home is full of paintings and drawings of Cyrna. Sure, I often go days without eating, sleeping, or drinking, while I lament about the love we could have had. Is that so wrong? Now she won't see me. Me. I've tried sending her messages, but she won't even talk to another person unless they are a rogue. Could you deliver this flower to her? Don't forget to tell her it's from Janik. Okay, we have a turn-in quest here, so... And our inventory is not full anymore. Like a cat dragged in from the rain, you scratch and claw. Then do it all over again. I'll be back for more. Oh, I didn't see you enter, adventurer. What can I do for you? They say I'm lovestruck, whatever that means. Sure, I we literally just heard this. Thinking about Cyrna. Sure, my home is full of paintings and drawings of Cyrna. Sure, I often go days without eating. You have succeeded, young adventurer. Well done. And just in time, I might add. Uh, I think over here we'll take the highest gold. So we're starting to get green stuff. Now the time has come to save the druids of the Talon. If we fail now, adventurer, they will be forever lost in sleep. I shall prepare the relics of wakening and perform the ritual. For my work to take effect, the cursed beast responsible for this horrible situation must be slain. Only then will the ritual be complete. It was Ursal the Mauler who meddled with our brethren's calling, and it is Ursal the Mauler who must now pay so they can be freed. Travel to Gnarlpine Hold in the southwest and slay him. Good luck, I friend. I think we'll just have to buy another one. For now. Hello. Now, that is better gloves. And a better bracer. Be careful. I honestly do think that we shouldn't do that quest yet. It's a level 12 quest. Farewell. It's a level 12 quest. Uh, I think we'll just get smacked. Right? Who knows, maybe there's someone there. Get some extra help. Oh, it shows where the spirit healer is. I mean, it's something we can never use. I don't know if Orphand is also something you need to train. And we also have skill points we could actually spend on now. We can make uh, make it use less energy. Or increase our dodge chance also. Increase the damage done by your Orphand. I think this is just the best thing to do. If we if you spend less energy per ability, uh, we could just press it more often, right? That's how I see it right now. Yeah, I think I should just go to Darnassus and at, at least just get skinning. And I don't know, if we can afford bags, we should. Uh, let me just see here, what else do we have? The damage dealt when striking from behind. We can't take that. Increase your critical chance by 1%. Uh, this is like chain killing, That's that's pretty nice. But I feel like this is just exactly what we need, right? Sinister Strike costs less, right? Then we have Dodge Chance increase, we have Critical Hit Chance, we have Off and Damage. Increase your Parry Chance, bro, this is just like perfect for leveling. 
Increasing your parry, increasing your dodge. This will all just help towards... Uh, This will all just help to to become stronger. I did have energy. Oh. We should also spend all this cloth and train some first aid again. Uh, we're just gonna take this, dude. Improve Sinister. By the way, we have improved uh, dodge already. So like... It could be a double whammy, if that makes sense. Since we're playing Night Elf, we have increased dodge chance. Ooh. So take two here, then three. And then I don't know what's going to be better. I think damage is a little bit better because it contributes to how fast you play the game than survivability. Survivability is important though. So after a kick we can actually silence as well. Yeah, this is just like perfect for leveling. I don't know where the Skinner is exactly. And I also don't think we can train swords here. I think Darnassus, the only the only thing that I know of that you should be able to train here is bows, right? I don't know about anything else. How may I of all the wondrous places within Darnassus, which would you have me direct you to? Here among the craftsmen of Darnassus, there is a millennium of knowledge for the benefit of your chosen craft. Now tell me, which craft do you find the most intriguing? In death, the animals of the world bestow both life and protection unto us. If you feel that you can offer the appropriate respect for their sacrifice, then the Skinner's profession may suit you. Speak with Eladriel in the Craftsman's Terrace in Northern Darnassus to learn more. Level 10 required. Feel free. It is my honor to provide for adventurers, for they are heroes in the making. A friend of mine, Nessa Shadowsong, is a fishing merchant in Rutheran Village. She needs a parcel taken to Darkshore and is looking for someone to help her. If you're interested, then to reach Nessa you must take the portal in Darnassus to Rutheran Village. You will find the portal west of the Temple Gardens. We also need to go to the auction house. There's a lot of stuff here we won't ever use. But it's worth uh, selling. Pretty much just have to clear out this inventory space. This is a big problem for us. It's not this one. It's above, maybe. Here we go. Hello. The grass is soft and lush. The air is fresh, full of light and song. Everything I've seen suggests that Teldrassil is a dream come true. Why then is my heart full of foreboding? If you're interested in sewing with leather, you've certainly come to the right place. Faldron and Talonis are true artists, and I hope to learn much from them. Okay, so now we got skinning. We're gonna sell this stuff in the auction house. But I can't imagine 5% dodge with Night Elf dodge. How much is it though, Night Elf dodge? Dude, we have 23% dodge chance, dude. 
And with that, five, five skills into that, we'll be close to 30%. You see, I need to get something that will do the auction out stuff. Uh, be right back. Okay, so now we could just like click sell stuff. So like click on this, post. Uh, it should automatically just sell it at value. What? It's 10 copper, bro. Uh, spider leg, this is stuff we can actually keep because it's for cooking. So that's 10 copper, then what? <laughs> sure. Maybe shouldn't have done that because it took quite a bit of money. Don't know if anyone would ever buy that. All right, so I feel like that is this area done. Unfortunately, we're literally out of cash. We don't have pickpocket yet. I don't know, like, how often we'll play with slice and dice. I know it's decent, it's just... If you don't upgrade it, it's not that great, right? Yeah, I feel like also we should take the, the passive stuff. Let's see here. Uh, macro. Where's my inverse one, dude? There we go. Target enemy, no harm. Cost, stealth. Pickpocket. No combat mod, sap. Stealth. Sap. Slice and dice. Auto attack and target. So, no combat, it will do sap. No combat, it would stealth. Combat will slice and dice. Dude. So, this is the... This ability. And then... Uh, once we're inverse... Target. Once we're inverse, this will be our backstab. But we don't have Sinister Strike yet. We don't have Sinister Strike yet. Also, we couldn't go on the auction house to buy stuff, unfortunately, because... Um, we don't have money. I think the first thing you should buy is bag space. What we can actually do is just spend some time and... Uh, get some skinning up. Not just skinning, but we'll also be able to make green items become stronger. But I know for a fact it takes a while, dude. And we should get to a spot where there's a lot of animals to kill. I don't think we can actually skin it. Failed attempt. Not enough energy. 
Yeah, we can't skin the birds. Because I have no spin skin, dude. It's feathers. Like, what are you doing? So we're getting those ruined leather scraps. And with this, we can actually craft uh, light leather. Got light leather from that one. So let's see your leather working. Maybe, maybe just make a weak aura for slice and dice. It's actually a lot better. It's actually a lot better than Sinister Strike. It's like our killing speed doubles, dude. Um, I don't know where we're we gonna find some animals, bro. Uh, let's see here. We haven't added our sprint yet. It's a five-minute cooldown. I just want like a good place to farm skin. I think this might not even be the place to do it. What level is requirements is this? 10 still? 12? 12? Maybe we should just go do the quest. We have 5 slots free. Maybe we should just go do the quest. And then, uh... Because it requires level 12, right? I mean, we know how deceiving these levels are in some quests. I also know in this game, particularly, uh, the classic, I know for a fact that parry is god tier good in this game, especially on warriors. And the, the reason being is because it resets your weapon swing timer. We have another hand in quest down there. It resets your weapon swing timer, meaning that you attack faster every time you parry, if that makes sense. So, where dodging doesn't do that, it just dodges. But you can't parry abilities, you can dodge it, if I'm not mistaken. So you should, you should choose your poison, what you would level up first. I mean, you can't really... Yeah, you can't really choose between the two, it's, it's dodge.
Also, I don't know if you actually get it in this game, but if you get skinning, apparently it increases your crit chance. I don't know if it does that in this game. Maybe it was added in Burning Crusade. I'm actually not too sure. Also, I would have gone to the human area if I had enough money to train uh, swords. Because the sword is actually pretty good. It's only plus one stamina though, but you can see it's 150% better. Because even though it's not good stats, it's uh, it does it does way more damage than than white gear. We should check if we can skin these guys. Because if we can, then we get everything from them. We get cloth. We can't skin. Someone else just reached level 60. Shall we get a food buff? I mean, there's no need not to, s not to, yeah. I think we should uh, get dodge chance after. We don't, I don't know, we don't use that much Sinister Strike. Like, I, I Sinister Strike twice, then I put on my attack speed. Sinister Strike once more. And then he dodges everything. It's it's a rare. By the way, this rare will fuck us up, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Rare is also a level higher than us. Dude, we're still getting slapped half HP every fight.
Are you really gonna do a quest that requires level 12, dude? I'm level 10. He's like mixed in with like four people. There's like four dude next to him. Uh, he's not a caster. I need to get closer. Not enough energy. He's level 12, dude. Okay, didn't walk too far down. He's not a rare. Oh, this one costs. Because okay, it costs through trees. Okay, it does. I think we can take him on. Our gardener is here, I think. Inventory is full. Not ready yet. Just drink the potion to be safe. This is a high level quest, dude. With a big scary rare close by. We do also have sprint available. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay away from the thing. What does he drop? Okay. No green items, it looks like. That ability isn't ready yet. This is like a bunch of useless items. We can make better stuff with uh, with skinning and leatherworking. Oh, can you unstuck? Unstuck the Dornosis. We have a quest here.
Well, that's one way to waste your sprint. We got a few animals here, that's for sure. I want to keep our combat simple, right? So it seems like two skill, two uh, combo points, and then just put your slice and dice on. Another level 60. Bro, there's actually a lot of people playing this game. Still. I think that's a combat point waste. I mean, it's actually not that bad, though. I just honestly think 5% uh, dodge will be more efficient. Because... I think, I think the better you are on offense, or sorry, the better you are on defense, the less downtime you have, the higher HP you'll end up with. But I mean, like, 1% is not that much, dude. Repost. Becomes active after parrying an opponent's attack. This attack deals 150%. Uh, weapon damage and disarms the target for six seconds. Bro, that is insane. That that is completely busted. We only have one inventory space uh free still. gonna keep uh keep farming on our way to the Nasus. Then. I mean, this is perfect for leveling up, dude. Parry. Increase your parry chance. Repose, disarms. I mean, it's gonna be bad against casters, but for that we'll have kick, where we'll silence them as well. Then they will auto-attack us, which will trigger repose. Just sounds good to me. And what else do we got here? Increase the critical strike bonus uh, with sinister strike, gouge, backstab, 
by 6%. I think you also have a bleed, right? Every time you crit. All damage caused against humanoids, giant, beast. Increase the duration of slice and dice. I think that will make it that you that you only use one one combo point. And then you increase the crit crit chance. Slice and dice. Increasing the damage you do. Increase the damage you do. Increase your poisons. It's actually a pretty good build as well. I don't know. Let's get five dodge. Five. Oh, it's hit chance. Increase hit chance, increase parry, repose. He's a first day trainer. Inventory is full. Oh, dude, you're gonna make me poop my panty. We have a serious inventory problem. Want to sell rune cloth bags? Yeah, dude, I didn't, I didn't, there's no way. Can I? Ah, a timberling seed. I wanted to try growing one of these to help Denelin with his studies. But I'm afraid I've discovered that a corruption has grown in many of the Timberlands, and seeds from such creatures carry their parents' taint. They are beyond my talents to repair. Denelin is very skilled with things that grow. He may find a cure for future Timberlings. He may be their only hope. There is a malevolence growing in the Timberlings. We are trying to find the source, but until we do, dot, 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 in order to keep Teldrassel safe, we must cut down the timberlings who are beyond help. Those that wander Wellspring Lake in northern Teldrassel are the most tainted. They must be removed. Destroy the timberlings you find there and gather the mossy tumors growing upon them. Bring the tumors to me so that they may be burned. Okay, so I think what we should do is we, we should just go five dodge, five uh, parry, repost, and then start going crit. Uh, we'll go crit, slice, and dice. Slice, yeah, so five crit, three, two there. So we can actually try and go for, you know, repetitive stuff. Increase the critical strike damage bonus of your sinister strike, gouge, backstab, and hemorrhage. So sinister strike upgrade. And then we go poisons. Increase the chance to apply poisons. I know to unlock poisons is extremely difficult. Sorry for the doggos, guys. Because I would like to actually increase slice and dice. So we'll play Sinister Strike Slice and Dice build. I think uh, we'll be able to train the next one. Can I get a vendor, please? Thank you. What brings you here? Uh, we also don't need this much, and I think it will be useless in the auction house. A 
except Temple of the Moon. We have no mail yet at the bottom, I can see that. So no one bought anything yet. A once great creature of the forest is in need of help, person. There is a difficult task that must be done. Please seek out Priestess Amura. She will explain things to you. Find her to the southeast of here, inside the Temple of the Moon. I feel like I should have gone to the first day trainer, but... I don't think it matters too much. Okay, looks like we have to cross this bridge. Oh, how are we going to afford bags, man? The game is really rough to start. Like, I have... If, we, I, if I played Horde here, I had a bank. You know, I had like, I don't know, 40, 50, 100 gold. I don't know how much on my bank character. I think it's upstairs. So level 12 is our next stuff. We get backstab. We get parry. We don't even have parry yet. So Sister Aquin sent you. Lady Sathra was once beloved of Elune. Graceful and pure, the spider spun her silver threads through the moonlight, catching the evening mist. The Silvery Dew had strong healing powers and was kept here in the temple. But of late, Sathra has descended into madness. Her future generations are now threatened as well. Find Lady Sathra, adventurer, and end her suffering. She dwells along the northern borders of Teldrassil near Wellspring Lake. Gather her silvery spinnerets and bring them back to me. Buy 20 meat for later? What does it even mean? I'm gonna just skip this step. Okay, looks like uh, we're going up here now. Scary stuff, dude. Kill only level 8 ones. Uh, Striggered Hunter. Um, when it comes to... Leather working right now. I don't think we should make anything, by the way. I am honored. And we should also check the weapon trainer. Good luck, friend. Oh, the weapon trainer is actually here somewhere. Can I assist you? Good luck, friend. Ishnu Dal Dieb, a Shah Fela. Oh, it's actually there somewhere. My goods are of the highest quality. I am honored. God is watch over you. My goods are of the path. highest quality. It's really expensive though. Be careful. I guess we can find something better on the auction house. Let's go to the weapon trainer and see if we can actually train swords. I doubt we can. 
But just to be safe. Ishnu Allah. Farewell. Feel free to browse. Del Madras. There you go, weapon, weapon master. The grace with which I fight is not something I can teach you, but I can teach you the use of various weapons. Fist weapons. Farewell. Yeah, I think we get swords by humans. I'm trying to remember how to get there. Because I played Horde for a very long time. I think to get there, you will have to take a ferry to... Take a ferry to here, right? Then we'll take a boat to wetlands. Jeez, dude. Yeah, you'll take a boat to wetlands. And then from wetlands, there's another... There's another merchant. Oh, sorry, another ferry. Isn't wetlands like here? Wait, is that is this wetlands? I don't know. I I, I know how to get there once we go. But like, I think by then we'll have a better weapon anyway. Oh, that's a pretty nice stuff. Wow. 11 intel, 11 spurt, requires level 35. Increases damage and healing done by magical spells. And effects by 26%. Or no, 26. Not percent, though. But it probably will be a bigger buff than that, depending on what weapon you had before. I don't have enough energy. Not enough energy. Only level eight ones. Okay, slice and dice. What does it do really? Increase your attack speed by twenty percent. You see, it becomes more and more valuable. The um, like once you have. Once you have poisons. You are too kind. Is there stuff dead here? Like, I don't see anything. Kill Mossy Tumor.
And I think if we spend like two hours just like skinning, our gear should be very good. Failed attempt. The failed attempt will become less and less probable. We just have to stay close to the water and kill whatever is here. Yeah, we're gonna make like, I don't know, 10 parts, see how it does in the YouTube channel, and then we'll decide whether we're gonna keep on keeping on, or... Like, that's if I don't die, right? But even if I do, then we'll decide, are we going to keep going? Or are we going to call this the series there? I had to send this a strike four times to hit twice. missing way too much. This is just ridiculous now. Level 10. These level 10 dudes, they actually hurt. I, I don't know if he even critted. for the quest here. Is it phased? Or logged out? Most well, probably logged out. There's a guy jumping at the back there. He's all stunning. What level? Level 10 Night Elf Rogue also. Sprint a bit here. There's another one. Level 10. You know, that's another skill point we could, like, if there was one, I would have taken it. Movement speed. 
Because how much do you run in this game, dude? Feels like infinite, right? At least until level 40, I think. And you wor have to work very well with your gold in order to be able to even buy um, or to be able to ride a mount at level 40. Almost level 11. We got one more. It's actually very rare to get these things to drop. It's roughly about three kills for one drop, right? Give or take. We again only have one inventory space open. Not good enough. I don't know, I feel like one crit can change the whole fight. Work complete. Here we go. Now it wants to go all the way up here. Attack power is 68, crit chance is 12. After this kill, we might actually level. Oh my goodness. These bitches are strong, dude. That, that was just one level higher than what we are. We're almost level 11 though. We still have one slot available of inventory space.
So what are we looking for here? and attack the critter. Kill Lady Seraph. Wait, 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 wait. That sounds like a cave thing, dude. Kill Lady Seraph. Check the northeast spawn, then the two norths. To fall to your death. Not enough energy. Oh, shit. We got our first green item, dude. These bitches be hurting. Five, almost 600% increase. 500, 500. One stamina, one agility. That's huge. This is also an upgrade. One silver. of miss my shama now now that i see that electrical fields uh we should take our dodge chance I need to pick that up, so... Because we want to skin. I want to skin you. Oh, there it is. 249 HP. So his ability is... Nothing. He has no ability.
Why did you pick up the junk first then? Work complete. Okay, go to the vial. This thing has a many abilities in. He has bite, he has poison. Oh my goodness, bro. This sucks, but it's it's better than what we got. It's spirit gear. We can actually sell that in the auction house, to be honest. If possible. Dude, we need bags. Badly. Before I give up on life. Let's just do this first. Work complete. I was dispatched with a small group of sentinels here to protect the Oracle Tree from the harpies that have made nests all around the glade. Little by little, we are trying to push them back. When the Oracle Tree attempted to send a runner to Darnassus with a report, the messenger was attacked and killed by a group of the harpies. If you feel up to the task, go to their nests, slay them, and return their belts to me as proof of your deeds. Inventory is full. Is this the rare? No, it's not. There's a chest here, though. Fireball. I can't carry any more. Do, do, do. At least get just just get the belts, you know. Inventory is full. Don't need that food. Want to get that chest? And let's make double sure that we're not getting ambushed. Don't need water. Inventory is full. I can't carry any more. Don't need that. Inventory is full. Don't need this. Fireball. Not enough energy. I can't carry any more. Full. 
Is this all we do here? I can't carry any more. Okay, we want those cloths. Okay. Except mist. Why is mist in blue? She's a sprint here. Level 9 humanoid. dude uh this guy is not a caster Scared me, bro. I don't have enough energy. I can't carry any more. You following me? He's following me. Dude, normally in an escort quest, they walk on a, like a specific path. This is very weird. not attacking though. I can't carry any more. Yeah, I get the fucking thing, dude. So I have an inventory problem. I get it.
Okay, so now we have a few handling quests. I am honored. Elune's secrets are many, but they are not to be shared with just anyone. I fear I would never see you again. Yes, I am well. Do not worry you for me. You must rest and recover health. Miss growls and acknowledge. Acknowledgement before straighten, uh, straightening and making her way off into the forest. What brings you? I am impressed by what you have accomplished here in so short a time, adventurer. Would that I could ask you to remain here to assist me with my duties. But I know in my heart that greater tasks lie ahead for you. I have noticed the oracle tree has just shed a piece of its bark. No doubt it has a task that it wishes completed. You should speak with it. Oh, thank you, adventurer. I feared I would never see Mist again, knowing only her death in my heart, never to be united with my faithful companion. I owe you more than you can know, and you have my eternal gratitude. Oh, the forest whispers of your feats of valor, adventurer. As I felt the harpies forced from their nests, a greater calm spread across the forest, its creatures once again feeling safe. I have feared sending another messenger to the archdruid, but I know that you will see my message safely to him. Deliver this to him and know that the forest will see you safely along its paths to the forest of stone. Now it says again, death warp to Darnassus, but can't do that, dude. If we die, we delete. Fireball. Gotta go fast, baby. I oh, we actually got two green items already, dude. We have a third one, but we have to go train swords. And we, you can clearly see we have an inventory problem, right? So we first have to get bags, no matter how small. That is our highest priority. Okay, so now we have a few quests to hand in here. Train staffs. Uh, we can't use staffs. I'm not going to buy the bags here. Um, we'll check the auction house quickly for it. So these guys are selling bags for five silver for six slot, I think. My honor to provide for adventurers, for they are heroes in the making. Yeah. So we'll quickly go to the auction house first. Let me check bags. 
Because if that is the vendor price, I'm pretty sure people sell it for less because they still make a profit out of it. Uh, shopping bag. You see, let him bag three. Why can I only see two bags, though? Why do I only see two bags? Total of 378 items. What? People are not selling the higher bags? That's impossible, dude. There we go. Wooden bag. 14. 8 slot for 14. Ugh. So at least with this, we can actually buy 2. So, show bags, we need to buy three, okay, three bags, baby. So we're still going to hear inventory soon the whole time, but at least uh, we resolved somewhat of that issue because goodness, dude. So the guide is saying we should train staffs, and that means that we're going to get a decent staff soon. That most probably priests and druids would use. I didn't sell my staff in the auction house. Idiot. This thing is worth nothing. Auction house, three silver each. Well done. These tumors are the symptom of the Timberling's disease. They are filled with a poison that we must cleanse from our new land. I will dispose of these tumors. Thank you, adventurer. I have just received word that Denelin at Lake Alameth has discovered what may be the cause of the tumors that plague the Timberlings. Please speak with him and tell him I sent you. Make haste, adventurer. He needs our help. Can we have another hand in quest here? Speak quickly. If you are here to waste my time, then you are wasting the time of the Cenarian Circle as a whole. For your sake, let us hope that you are not foolish enough to be doing just that. I wondered why the Oracle Tree had not communicated with me for so long. It seems that some problems are lessened while others grow to greater concerns. I fear my work on Teldrassil shall never be completed and our immortality never restored. Nonetheless, you have done the Oracle Tree's task well, and should be rewarded for your diligence. If you had enough time to run messages for the Oracle Tree, then I'm sure that I can press you into service to deliver a message to the Grove of the Ancients in Darkshore, due south of Aberdeen. You will most likely have to secure transport on a hippogriff, but I have faith enough in you that you can manage that. Take this to Onu, the Ancient of Lore. He has been awaiting word from me, even as I waited for news from the Oracle Glade. Alrighty then. We're still doing good, in my opinion. 
The game is intense, for sure. For sure. Nothing so far is as hard as the cave was uh, that we did in part one. We also ran past the mailbox. <laughs> Now you must finish the task to which you have been appointed. Take the spinnerets and offer Lady Sathra's sacrifice to the loom. Lay the great spider to rest. Inside this temple, find the central fountain. There is where you may leave the sacrifice. The holy waters will purify and cleanse the corruption that drove Sathra mad. When you have completed this, return to me. Yes, ma'am. The loss of Lady Sathra is distressing, but in this way only may she be reborn with a renewed spirit. May Alun willingly accept the sacrifice that you have offered her. Asha Fela. Didn't have feet. All stone to Dalinar. Okay. Um My goods are of the highest quality. Go in peace. Let's grab our mail. There we go. Now we have 22 slots open. Adventurer, you have proven yourself a most worthy and able adventurer. A person who follows the path of honor as sure as you do is certain to find great glory in this world. May the forest spirits protect you wherever your travels may take you. Plus 10 armor. Can... which... I know we can use maces. Can we use axes, though? Maces? Swords? No, no. Swords. First weapons. Dagger. So, let's just take the mace, then. So, now we need 20 silver to train our weapons. Oh, dude. Kind of sucks. Like a cat dragged in from the rain, you scratch and claw. Then do it all over again. I'll be back for more. Oh, I didn't see you enter, adventurer. What can I do for you? To be in the presence of the Oracle Tree, it is almost to feel wisdom take form. Let me continue the telling. With Teldrassil grown, the Archdruid approached the dragons for their blessings as the dragons had placed upon Nordrassil in ancient times. But Nosdormu, Lord of Time, refused to give his blessing, chiding the druid for his arrogance. In agreement with Nosdormu, Alexstrasza also refused Staghelm, and without her blessing, Teldrassil's growth has been flawed and unpredictable. Without the blessings of Alexstrasza, the Lifebinder, and Nosdormu, the Timeless, Teldrassil's growth has not been without flaw. Strange beasts have been reported arising from the very ground of the tree, and crazed fur bogs attack passing travelers. I can only hope that the solution the Archdruid is looking for will be found quickly. I will pour all the files you brought into this vessel for you to deliver to Darnassus. Bring it to Fandral Staghelm. You will find him in the Druid Grove. So it said buy 20 meat, but it doesn't say which one. I'm pretty sure it was, uh, it was that. May the stars guide you. 
520 meat. Be more specific, dude. Next time. So this normally goes hand in hand also. At, at least it does in Horde. Because you kill a lot of boars and raptors. And that leads to meat, right? So you get cooking and uh, skinning and leather working all up in, uh, at the same time. But unfortunately, not the case for us right now. Because over here in Night Elf, we we'll have to we have to kill birds for eggs, but you can't skin them. I am ah, so Relian sent you to aid me. I'm glad you arrived here so soon. I've discovered something quite disturbing. In a cave along the southern bank of the lake, a timberling named Oakenscowl is spreading corruption to all the creatures that make Lake Alameth their home. I dared not get too close, but even from a distance it is obvious. Oaken Scowl is being poisoned by the largest tumor I have ever seen. I would call it gargantuan, even. Adventurer, you have already done much to aid my efforts, but I ask of you one more task. Hunt down Oaken Scowl and collect the tumor. Remove this source of corruption from my home. You found this on Teldrassil? Intriguing. This fruit is exotic. Perhaps its seeds were brought here from far off, perhaps even as far as Azeroth. And there's something about this fruit. It seems to have reacted very strangely with the soil of Teldrassil. Thank you, adventurer. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must study this further. Where did you get this? I haven't seen a plant like this since a sojourn I made to the Swamp of Sorrows decades ago. It's amazing that a specimen made its way to Teldrassil. And it's grown to such a size. Thank you, adventurer. Forgive my shortness of words, but there is a test I would like to perform on this frond. Except the quest called the Sprouted Bronze. I think I already done done it. Okay, now this is an elite quest, by the way. Must to an heart. Yeah, we 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 done this already. Planting heart. You see, this is why I say like uh, the guide at the moment for us is not a hundred percent. This is a level 9 elite. That we're running to now. Even though it's a green quest, it can still be uh, pretty tough. Okay, we marked it. I think it's in this cave. Yeah, there it is.
I need to get closer. Yeah, for some reason I can't jump on that. We do have sap. Can we even do this? Can we even do this, bro? I feel like we need to kill the low level first. Work complete. I used everything in the book, bro. I need a target. Oh, I used everything. We used the potion. Uh, we used our evasion. We used a armor. Oh, dude. The only thing we didn't have is a food buff. That's crazy. And we got nothing useful. That was kind of insane. Yeah, we're level 12 now, right? Yeah. So now we can actually go get... Um, kick and parry. We're not going to train backstab, because I think it sucks. <clears throat> we'll get... Uh, is Garrett also from behind? Yeah, and behind target. It is a distressing situation. Oakenskowl was once a grand leader amongst his kind, but corruption does not discriminate between the lowly and the noble. The size of this tumor is quite disturbing, but I must study it to learn more about the disease that upsets the Timberling population. Thank you, adventurer. Complete the following quest is required. The Moss Twined Heart. Speak with Nessa uh uh it's over there. Yeah, dude. 
I don't know why quest it shows as a quest there, because I think I've done all the quests. The spouted funds. Last icon is not changing. Yeah, I don't see any other quest here. Maybe, um, maybe it's a quest that's removed from hardcore. I can't do that yet. I don't know, I honestly don't know. So right now we just have to run all the way back to Darnassus. I think. But guys, we're going to actually end this episode over here. I'm going to run all the way to Donassus. We'll start the next episode there. Hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you for taking time out of your day. Obviously supporting the channel. I really do appreciate your love and support. I will catch you beautiful people in the next video. Leave a like and subscribe, baby. It's very important. We're trying to reach our 1,000 subscribers. Couldn't only do that with your help. Thanks for being here, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.